Hello environmentally friendly fans and welcome back to Recycling Center Simulator. So in this episode, first thing we're going to do is we're going to look at hiring another staff member. Unfortunately, the one that I really wanted can't get now. So I'm wondering if I should just wait a day or so on it. Because there was one guy that could hi could get more capacity. And a lot of the jobs I think need that extra capacity. Let me see here. No, I keep clicking on all the wrong things. Scrap deals. Yeah, see that's 66 kilograms, that's 58 kilograms. So they'd be able to do one like this. Uh, you know what? Let's try him out and see what he does. His daily wage is 31 bucks. Yeah, let's go ahead and hire him. It's going to cost us... Alright, so we're going to need 800 to... Uh, for the truck for this guy, too. Sure, we'll go ahead and buy a truck. Alright, so we've got a trash collector. Let's go over to the scrap deals now. So he can do 44. So we could do this one. Yeah, we could do this one for him. I really am not happy that he can only do so little amounts, but let's see how he does. Alright. I want to do... 70. Eighty. Alright, so I got it for eighty. So let's send him on his way. So this is what the parking's actually for. Those guys just still walk up no matter what. But the parking is for these guys so that that way they do their jobs. Alright, so he's gonna take off in his truck. Curious as to how long he'll be gone for. I figure I'll do a contract as well while I'm waiting on him. I mean, I can do more wait, so let me go ahead and do this one. Uh, let's bargain with her. Uh, 120. One thirty. We'll go ahead and take that deal. Before we go on that job though, let's see here. Perfect, so now I have the money to buy the crowbar. He's still not back yet, so don't know how long it takes him, as I said. Sort of curious about that. But now I have a crowbar in case I find a uh, mystery box. So that's what I'm going to start doing, though, is now I can send him out and I can go out myself. So that way, hopefully we can... Whoop, I thought I grabbed this piece. There we go. But that way, hopefully we can do double the amounts of uh, recycling per day and therefore make a lot more money. Hopefully he'll be back by the time I get back. That's in there. Mm. 
Nothing there, perfect. Bigger items in here. But yeah, I definitely am hoping he's back by the time I get back, because otherwise that's going to be a bit on the disappointing side. Everything's gone there. There we go with that. Alright, so we're needing some plastic waste still. There we go. He's still not back yet, huh? Yeah, that's sort of a letdown. Don't know why that bag had jammed everything up, but we'll remove it. Go ahead and sort it all. Wonder if there's a way to tell like how much longer he has. I mean, he's only costing me 31 bucks, so it's not like he cost me that much, but still. It's just sort of the annoyance that I want him already back. Because I've got things to do. I'm also curious about him getting back and seeing how that works. Do they automatically unload him? Do I have to tell him to unload? All those kind of things I'm wondering about. This one was pretty plastic heavy. Yeah, let's go ahead and get the plastic definitely done. How are we on wood? Uh, it's not bad.
was glass actually that it was heavy on. Alright, all nice and neat on that. My sole goal is to get up to level 9 so I can get the, uh, the self-driving device, so that way it can just move my pallets around as need be. Because I do so hate having to do them myself. <clears throat> Alright, he's still not back. Really sort of annoying. So he's going to pretty much take the whole day on one contract, is what it sounds like. Right, let's see what we got in each area. So let's start with plastic. We got 31 plastic, 13 paper, 20 of that, 30 of the glass, 37 metal. So glass, plastic, and metal are the three that we might be able to have something for. Right, we've got one here for 30 for plastic. Let's go 300. Go 350. And no metal deals that are worth it for me right now. All right. Let's go ahead and look at other deals. This one's going to be a ton of glass. This one's a ton of paper. You know what? I like this one better. Let's go ninety-two dollars. Hundred and two. All right. Well, I'm going to do a second job, even if my guy isn't back yet.
All right, that's all the metal there. It is a lot of glass, though, and I'm all right with that. <clears throat> as I said, I was sort of hoping with my employee that he'd be able to do two jobs a day, same as I am. But I have to say, I mean, other than the truck that cost me 800 he's not really costing me that much per day, so I guess, you know, I could always get another truck. And I probably will once I find one that can uh, do bigger loads. I want to get something that's a little bit better than what I've got right now. Yes, he can only do smaller loads. And I want to be able to get as much as possible. <clears throat> Excuse me, got something in my throat and a little bit of pain. Sun is setting here, so hopefully when we get back, he'll already be back. Oh. All right then. I think this is just all extra trash. And we have this uh, container here. Very excited for that. That's just extra trash. That was the piece that I was missing. Alright, so I'm excited for this. Let's see how this works. Hold and fill the bar and release it when you're in the green area. Continue until all the tiles are green. Alright. Two hundred bucks. Alright, so I almost paid for the crowbar right there. I am not going to complain about that. Alright, I'm back. And he's back. Perfect. Did he already unload his stuff? Well, I hope he did, because otherwise he didn't get anything. Let's see about it. Yep, he's up there able to sort waste. So that's good news. I'm going to let him finish because I think I don't want to be losing trash out of it. Alright, so he did one load. Not exactly impressive to me, but you know what? Better than nothing. And now that I understand how he works some, that works fine for me. Go ahead and sort that waste as well. While you do that, I'm going to go ahead and empty these out. Oh yeah, let me go ahead and close that one back up.
for some reason I just stopped running there. Not sure. Maybe I got exhausted. actually going to go spend some money on real fast here to save myself a little bit of hassle. Let's go to the factory here. Oh, we don't have the money for it. Unfortunate. You know what? That's good enough. Now, if I'm correct, yes, I am. So now I can go ahead and put pallets over here. And so therefore I have more room to just toss this stuff over. What in the world is this? I don't know what that means. Oh, I guess when I have those uh, robots, they'll be able to then be assigned to certain locations. Still need to have level 9 for them, don't I? I just want to check. Maybe that changed things. Yep, no. Need level 9. So basically, that's how I will assign them to go to certain areas. I mean, right now, they're just going to put everything where it is, but that's fine by me. whole reason I want it for right now is because this way, I can just chuck the stuff over there a lot easier. Let me go ahead and grab this one with the pallet jack. There. So now I should be able to set up pallets here. here, all the way along here, to get my products over on. Yes, it cost me $800, but to me it was worth it, and evidently I was going to need it for the uh, robots anyways, because you have to have the areas assigned for where they're going to store the stuff. Which I think that's my whole thing next is I'm going to basically save up money so I make sure when I get the robots, I can afford the robots. The only other thing I might buy is an air driver. That way I can uh, have two more routes run on the day along with my own. So let's make some noise here then. Let's go 18 of these. Wow, 43 of these. actually just carry the uh, metal ones over to where I have the metal because otherwise I'm going to have stuff just stacked up everywhere. Alright, so let's do this one as paper, plastic, we'll make this one wood, then we'll have glass, and metal. And since we have more metal, it seems like, than anything else, we'll have two metals. 
There we go. And by more metal, I mean just the fact that it doesn't stack nearly as well as most everything else. So because of that, I mean, I can get 24 of those on a pallet. I think I can get 30 plastics. Let's see on the plastics here real fast. Well, actually, let's start over here in the corner and do sawdust on this one. Then we can do plastics on that one. Yeah, I can do 30 of them. So it is more than we can with the... Uh, than with the metal. Metal takes up more space on it. Luckily, glass does not because we have a ton of glass coming in here. As I said, I will be so happy once I have the little robots to drive around. Hopefully I'll get to level eight with my sails tonight, and then we should be able to get to level 9 in the next episode, I'd hope. And I'm definitely looking forward to that. Alright, that's all for that one. You know what? Fine. That can be over there. All right, paper goods. Let's start with glass. There we go, perfect on that. Oh, paper is the same as metal, actually. Had not realized that. Oh, actually, we can go right there with it. So yeah, paper and metal need more spots than everything else. But that's all right. Personally, I'd rather have more metal because it makes us better profit. Alright, so all that stuff's been put away. Let's head inside and see what kind of contracts we can do. Alright, so paper we got 34 of. We got 44 plastic, 38 wood, 67 glass, and 49 metal. I don't think there are any metal contracts, really. Oh, there is one metal contract. Might as well do it. Uh... I almost want to take his offer, but let's go ahead and 504. All right, so we did that. Got that one taken care of. Let's see, glass here, 36. How much do we have in glass? We have 67. So we can't do two contracts, but we could do the bigger contract here. Uh, let's do 590. Sweet. We are now at reputation eight. Perfect. I don't know what this opens up for us, if anything. And we already had all those machines available. Nothing's changed. Oh, we got this one. Increases bargaining ability. Hmm. You know what? Not for right now. 
I don't care about it enough right now. I could upgrade the parking lot, but I don't care about that. And staff. Oh, so I now have to wait till level 9 to get my next one? Alright, so I can only have one trash collector at a time for right now. Well, that's good to know. I And at level 9, I'm going to care about the machines more than I am about getting an air guy. Alright, so let's see. What's next? We did glass. We got 38 sawdust. Can we do a deal for sawdust? Nope. Nothing in sawdust. 54 and 48 on the plastics. Do we have that amount? No, we don't. So we can't do plastics right now. We only have 34 on the paper. Oh, we've got a deal for 30 here. Uh, let's see. 300. All right. That works for me. Sweet. So, we're starting to work our way through level 8. As I said, what I'm most focused on is getting to here so I can get the warehouse robot. Once I have that and the robot can go ahead and take care of my pallets and such, I will be beyond happy. <laughs> That'll take care of so much of my issue. It'll just be a nicety that way. I mean, I could sell all this junk that I have here. I'd be fine with that. In fact, I'm debating doing it. Just to clear out my, my warehouse a little bit. Now I could get the negotiating skills. You know what? Let's go ahead and do that. Then we have the negotiating skills. I mean, we had the money, and we have a ways to wait until we get to the next big thing. Alright, so I have to do sorting ten times in order to get that, but I don't care about the combos. This I care about. This I care about. The robots is an intriguing one there. I guess that they're going to cost me money for the electricity they use, which is fine. Um, I'll get the, that as soon as I can. Wage of trash collectors, enable employees to better showcase their talents. People to bring more waste. Make your robots move faster. Alright, so all those things I definitely want. It's just the sorting one I really don't care about too much. Definitely want that. So really, we're going to work on getting that next, and then we'll start getting the pressing paper, the smelting machine, the pressing machine, smelting machine, and smelting machine. So, for now though, I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here. Very pleased with how the day went overall. We still got 1100 in the bank, which is great news. <coughs> Excuse me on that. Next episode, hopefully we'll be able to reach uh, level 9. That would be the goal. If we can, that'll be great. That's why I sort of didn't sell any of this stuff, because you know what? We can add the things together and hopefully make that extra profit that way. So yeah, that'll be the goal. Next episode, we'll see what we can do about it. For now, though, if you enjoyed what I did in this episode, please go ahead and click that like button. And if you've not already, please subscribe to the channel, click the bell icon, so that you're aware when I produce new videos in the future. Thank you, and I hope to see you all again for more Recycling Center Simulator.